So, so many times I get asked why I decide to focus on black mental health. Simply put, because it's important. right here you know less than five percent of psychologists uh with phds are black and that includes black men and black women doesn't even um think about the aspect of how difficult it was to get to this point and when i studied in this field when i got like my bachelor's and my master's and my second master's and my phd and my internship and my postdoc I became blatantly aware of the fact that so many times there were mental health things that were focused on that didn't even include the aspect of oppression or racism or the impact that other people's privilege or prejudice has on us. So I decided to focus on that. And I think that that's important. And that's what I'm always going to focus on. There are so few people who look like me that get to work with people who look like me. Black mental health is literally um, the driving force behind everything that I do. I very much feel like my mission on earth, my purpose is to normalize black wealth, to start with the aspect of understanding that, you know, we always talk about trauma running in families, but healing can too, to help individuals realize, black women realize that you can burn that superwoman cape and be yourself, to help you embody the aspect that like self-love and, and self-care and self-preservation are not synonymous with being selfish. And I feel like it's very difficult to do that um, and for people to fully immerse themselves in that when they don't take the time to look at Black people and the diversity within Black people instead of looking at Black people in comparison to others. Uh, I feel like it's difficult to do that when you look at people of color and include black people in there instead of just looking at black people. That's what I do. I focus on black mental health. I do realize that a lot of my information, a lot of the stuff that I share can also be applicable to other populations and other people of the global majority. When it comes to my specialty, I'm focusing on black mental health. And I feel like that's okay. I'm gonna tell you something. I very much believe that when you serve everyone, you serve no one. And there seems to be this emphasis on serving everyone. However, the people who get the short end of the stick are typically my people. Marginalized populations, individuals that people never expected to go anywhere. And that doesn't sit well with me. So if you are here, if you are on this channel, it means that you are interested in learning and being educated about Black mental health, whether it's to serve yourself, whether, whether it's to serve others around you, whether it's to contribute to... Um, decreasing the the disparities and the inequities and inequalities in the world but either way you're in the right place that's what i focus on black mental health anti-racist and anti-oppressive frameworks the difference between calling people in and calling people out the difference between virtue signaling and actually making a difference and how that can contribute to creating such a better world for us for black people because if there's one thing i want you to understand as someone who has decided to come on this channel the biggest issue is not race, it's racism. Because to be honest, the only race is the human race. The differences that were created by European Americans to you know, create a bigger divide. However, I feel like when more people realize that the issue is racism and not race, we're, well, we're ready to make a change. Because racism negatively impacts everyone. Like why wouldn't racism bother you? Why wouldn't individuals being treated hum inhumanely bother you? right? Most of the time, the reason is you may not see Black people as human. I feel as though dehumanization and adultification of Black people leads to the significant number of issues that we face every single day. And if you want to learn more about that and the way it integrates with Black mental health and the way to support others and the way to be an accomplice and not simply an ally into the way to make changes on different levels when it comes to oppression, to personal, institutional, internalized, cultural ideology of oppression overall you're in the right place so thank you for coming to our channel this is very much our channel and i hope you learned something here if there's something specific you want to learn about 
If there are certain topics, please comment them below. And also, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. By watching all the way to the end of this video, you very much help to boost my content to make sure that more people see it and have more helpful information. If you want to learn more about me and my day to day, I am a professor. I am a scientist. I am a licensed clinical psychologist. I am a mother. I am a partner and all of that. Um, please feel free to follow my Instagram and my TikTok at Raquel Martin PhD. Uh, thank you so much. Remember to be kind to yourself.